Hello everyone. A warm welcome to Dr. Dan Berger into ARU lockdown series. Hi Dan. How are you today? Morning. I'm very well, thank you. Nice to see you. Uh 8:30 in the morning on a Friday is always a good time to meet. Yeah, it's always a good time for everyone as in the morning to come in. Uh <laughs> as you know this is a uh, more kind of oriented uh, for the students mental health development and all so uh, my question to you is uh, what advice or tips would you like to give for students better mental health this is a, a, a fantastic opportunity and i really do appreciate this um i think this is an excellent area for discussion plainly i have no medical training whatsoever so i can't give anything in the way of medical advice but what i can do is to perhaps share things and tips that work for for me um uh, and hopefully if anyone's listening or watching they'll be able to take some of that and see if that resonates with themselves uh if not then um then uh, uh, plainly uh, i've failed in my task but i will um i'll do my best so um i have given this a little bit of thought um and i would say largely i i i think the 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 biggest tip is to try to get some objectivity to try to stand back from yourself to try to get uh, some kind of a handle on, on how you're really feeling to see whether it's a uh, a short term blip if you're having any problems or if it's a longer or medium term blip um so for me uh, sometimes i'm feeling very low uh, and then i take a few days away from work two or three days away from work and i recharge my batteries and i feel a lot better uh and in fact uh, that happened just recently i i was extremely tired i don't think i was handling uh my work particularly well and it has all sorts of effects on other aspects of my life i took 3 days away um i completely switched off my phone which was absolutely pivotal switching off the the smartphone for 3 days and just not engaging with with anything for 3 days apart from close family uh people that you're you know in communication with on a social basis and in family basis and then recharging the batteries completely recharged me and uh and and I felt a lot better in fact now I feel completely back to where I want to get to so having that kind of objectivity to know what is wrong with you uh and in that case it was tiredness however there are also times when I feel let's say overwhelmed by the things that I do I'm incredibly busy as we all are um and um I, i sometimes get overwhelmed and so some of the the ways that i get around that is i make lists i am an avid list maker so i have on my smartphone as we all have these these days no doubt um you have a diary you have a calendar and that has your meetings in it or has my meetings in it and that is a color coded a certain color and then the rest of my entries in that calendar i put in under a different color which is my to do list for that week so as soon as i get a task in i then put it into the calendar and uh, then i can review that as a rolling thing and i if i find that i haven't completed those tasks i can simply forward you know change the date and the time of them um and then keep that as a constant review and that for me really stops me feeling overwhelmed it allows me to feel in control of my life it also allows me to look back at the things that i have achieved and that gives me a sense of well-being when i feel that i've actually made a difference you know these are the things that i've done that i that i can actually say i've 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 completed it also means that the things that i haven't completed are not then out of my control um and if anyone were to say to me oh have you done x y and z and i find i haven't i at least can say to to, to them and myself with all honesty well this was prioritized at one point but that priority has changed and so therefore i've had to have moved the date on on that but i will be doing it by x date and then giving that level of certainty means that i can uh say with confidence that i'm still on top of my tasks um i'm trying to think of other things which which help me i would say little things also help so um lockdown as we currently are in some way or another doesn't mean locked in i still try as much as i can to get out of the house um if if i stay in the house which is easy to do when you're on ms teams or in your uh in in you know in your email uh is not too healthy for me uh, i like to get out i like to go for a walk i try to get some exercise every single day if i can get it uh so physical uh, health and mental health i believe are linked uh so getting some fresh air uh, trying to appreciate some of the the smaller things 
even if it's a rainy day, I quite like it to even to get out with an umbrella and to feel it's it's autumn. It's you know we've got things to look forward to. Uh, we've had Halloween, which I think was, was quite a fun time in some ways for my kids. Uh, and then we've got Christmas coming, so there's always something to look forward to, even in the darkest days. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. That was really very insightful to understand what you personally prefer for your better mental health. Do you have? Do you do you think your hobbies also are very important for your mental health, or which hobby you prefer? I must tell you, Omkar, this is a really great. I've never been asked this question before. This is a really good question. Hobbies. I have loads of them. Um, I've always had lots of hobbies, so I'll, I'll list what they are, and I'll, I'll, I hope I won't embarrass myself. Uh, first of all, I am a, an avid cook, so I do all the cooking in my family, uh, which my wife is very grateful about, and I'm really, um, let's say, on the weekends quite elaborate with my cooking, and I plan cooking for the weekends. So during the weekdays, it's you know you're at work and. You haven't really got much time to be too creative, but I still cook every day for, for the weekdays, but the weekends I plan. So by about Wednesday, I'm already thinking about my shopping lists for the weekend, which sounds a bit sad, but I actually really enjoy it. And I, and I try to cook things I've never cooked before. So this weekend, I'm cooking a fish pie with all sorts of different ingredients I've never used before. Uh, I know it sounds a bit boring, but I've never cooked one. So I thought I'll try one this weekend. I'm, I'm going to do that. So that's that's quite a hobby. Uh, other hobbies, I play the guitar. Uh, I have my I have my guitar set up in the lounge. Um, my daughter, my four-year-old daughter, is forever banging into it. So you can always hear my guitar crashing and banging somewhere as she tries to edge past it and try to get as close to it without touching it but failing. So I do play the guitar. I try to play um, kind of uh, music from my era, which is obviously going to be um, maybe a different era to many of my students. So 70s and 80s rock music. Um, occasionally a bit of 90s, a bit of Oasis, and I try to 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 you make my own arrangements. So they don't sound particularly like the recorded versions. They sound like my take on things, and and, and I play by ear. So um, I, I enjoy that. I've been doing that for about 25 years. Um, and I also DJ. So we're quite musical in my family. Um, at the moment, as we sit right now, I'm sitting on top of my wife's piano. She has a, a Yamaha piano and my laptop is set up on top of it and I'm sitting on the piano stool. Um, I have a set of DJ decks, which you can't see behind me, but um, I've been DJing for about 25 years and you know I have DJed in a club for a while, but my daughter likes to come up and we like to dance upstairs where the, where the DJ decks are set up. Uh, and so that that's there. Um, apart from that, um, I do quite a lot of reading about all sorts of silly things. Um, uh, at the moment, I've just bought a book called Super Forecaster, which is uh, all about trying to predict the future using all sorts of different tools, which is a really strange and interesting area for uh, discussion. Uh, I'm not completely convinced by its approach, but you know, I enjoy the, the pursuit. So cooking, music and deputy dean, a very wonderful combination. I don't know how, I, I don't know how it all fits together, but it seems to. Yeah. Uh... Okay, thank you so much uh, for your time today than uh, morning 8.30 Friday. Thank you so much for joining. And also thank you everyone for joining us today. We'll be back in the end of the series. Thank you so much. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye.